A life-saving surgery set for next week, a kidney transplant. The donor and recipient both from Gilbert. But what's amazing about this story is how the two got together. ABC 15's Brian Webb is live at the Mayo Clinic with more. And Brian, surgery set for next week. Yes, that's right. Uh, set for August 25th right here at the Mayo Clinic. Often the donor and the recipient never meet. They come together off of some transplant list somewhere. But these two got together over a game. All right. Okay, yeah, I just have... Meet Jim Gregg. That's him and his wife walking the halls of the Mayo Clinic in the final stages before kidney transplant surgery. It's coming down last week, and I'm getting excited about getting a new kidney here. Even to get to this point is pretty amazing. Jim needed a donor. Finding one isn't easy, and his kidneys were fading fast. I put off the dialysis as long as I could, but as the doctor said, when you need to go on, you know it. I did. Jim was already on several kidney donation lists from Phoenix to Seattle and not having much luck until one day he struck up a conversation over a game of bocce ball. I'm just a giver and not a taker. and. That's when Rosemarie Coppin came into the picture. When Jim mentioned his health problems, she jumped into action, did her homework, took the tests, and what do you know, a perfect match. Actually, it was kind of ironic because I told him on his birthday. To have a match, uh, I understand it's only about an 8% chance. Soon, these two will be forever connected by the same kidney and by the game of bocce ball. I just want to be a legacy, not so much a hero. You never know where you're going to find a, find a, find a, a life-saving friend. Rosemary's recovery should take a few weeks, but she should be able to function just fine on one kidney. As for Jim, his recovery will take longer, but if this surgery is a success, it should add 10 years to his life. Live in Scottsdale, I'm Brian Webb, ABC 15 News.